All right, G7s, today in our discussion on number sense and working with factors, uh, we are going to discuss index notation. Now, this is something you may be familiar with by sight, but you might not actually understand what's happening or exactly how it's working. So we're going to discuss a little bit about this index notation. Now, before we do that, I want you to do a little bit of thinking with me. I want you to think, what is a shortcut for 5 plus 5? plus 5 plus 5. Rather than add 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 5 is 15, plus 5 is 20, do you know a shortcut for that problem? Well, if you've thought about it, some of you might come up with the fact that 5 times 4 is a shortcut for that. Okay? 5 times 4 is a shortcut for adding 5 4 times. Okay. So the, the rule is, if we think about multiplication, multiplication is a shortcut. And it's a shortcut for repeated addition of the same number. When I want to add the same number over and over and over again, we use multiplication as the shortcut. That's why knowing your multiplication tables is so important, so that you don't need to add that same number over and over and over and over again. It's a, a quick way of doing that. So multiplication is a shortcut for repeated addition of the same number. But what is a shortcut for 5 times 5 times 5 times 5? It's not 5 times 4. It is actually 5 to the power of 4. That's how we say this, index notation. Okay? That 5 with the little tiny 4 that's written a little bit smaller and a little bit raised up okay, is 5 to the power of 4. And the rule is index notation, writing numbers with this little tiny number, is a shortcut for repeated multiplication of the same number. Rather than multiply 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, we use index notation. A lot of times in science, we want to multiply the same number a hundred times. And that would be a really long multiplication problem to write. And if we can write that as an index number, it is a much shorter way of writing it um, and working with those numbers. Index numbers are very important when the math starts to get longer and more complicated. So let's learn a little bit more about index notation. Uh, if I have the number 6 times 6 times 6 times 6 times 6, I can shorten that and I can write that in a shorter way as 6 to the power of 5, where we have two parts. We have first what we call the base number. The base number is the number that you are multiplying over and over and over. So I go, what number am I multiplying? Well, here it's 6, 6 times 6 times 6. So 6 is the base number or the big number, okay? The larger number is that number that we see over and over and over and over again. That's the base, okay? So whenever we talk about index numbers, I might ask you, what's the base number? And you would reply, it's, you know, it's the number that we're multiplying over and over, okay? But we have another number. It's a little tiny number. We call that the index number. It is where this index notation gets its name. Sometimes we call it the exponent. Okay, so it has a few different names. Uh, we'll refer to it as the index number, and it is the number of times the base is being multiplied. So I look over at my sixes. How many sixes are there? Oh, let's see. There's one, two, three, four, five. Ah, uh, there's five sixes. So five is the index number. Okay. That little tiny number tells me how many times it's there. It is not 6 times 5. That's 30. And 6 times 6, just at the second one, is 36. And then 6 times 3 is 36 times another 6, which is 100 or 196. It, it gets much or Sorry, 216, actually. It gets very large very quickly. And the number 6 uh, to the power of 5 which we are discussing here is actually the number 
1,296. It's quite large. Okay, it's not six times five, which is 30. Okay, do not confuse that. 